As Dave said, uh, I'm Rick Mockamer. I'm speaking to you from 1,400 miles away on cold and distant frontier we call Rochester, and it is indeed snowing. My prayer for all of us today and each day is, God, give me grace to care for that which you have given me. During the stewardship time, Dave asked me to say a few words about care, caring for and being cared for using our All Angels online community. Actually, Dave never said a few words. He knows that a few words and I have no relationship with one another. <laughs> At the organ concert in the park on January 28th, where we heard the hymn, We Are Gathered, a hymn that was written early in the pandemic by Amanda Udis Kessler. The per first parts of that hymn suggest we are gathered in the spirit, though our bodies are apart. Separate hands, but mingled hearts. At all angels, we are indeed gathered in the spirit. And indeed, our bodies are at a distance. A social distance for some, and a geographic distance for others. The pandemic has made the separation of these distances very real. But the separation is only physical. What is not separate is our mingled hearts, our joy in and our joy with each other. It's the Holy Spirit, God's presence within each of us that we share so deeply, so freely. That's the how and the why we care for one another. And that's the how and the why we're cared about by others. Caring is not a spectator sport. We actively engage in providing it and in receiving it. When it comes to people, to you and to me, caring is not just about giving something or just about receiving something. Care is reciprocal. It is a partnership. But caring is traced back to God, the one who loves and cares perfectly. It's been said that caring is a clean mirror to the image of God. Of God mirrored in us and the other person, and of God mirrored to the other person in us. We're social beings, just as Christianity is a social religion. We're here with each other. We're here for each other. We're here because of each other. God and the Holy Spirit is always with us, is in us. When we truly feel that presence, the physical distance separating us means little. We're spiritually linked, images of, mirrors of God, of the Holy Spirit. We care for, and we are cared for. This is all angels. This is who we are. This is what we are. This is what we live out each day. It's not the thing we do for another. It's that we're bound together through God, the Holy Spirit, that presence within each of us. And that binding together knows no limits, not six feet, not 600 miles, not 6,000 miles, and no technical stumbling blocks, not Zoom, not YouTube, not iPad or laptop. The Sunday services, the organ concerts in the park, the Bible studies, the book club readings, the discussion groups, the reflections, done at a distance, but done with and from his presence in each of us. God cares perfectly for each of us. Nothing will lessen that care. Distance, technology, viruses, rules, none of those separate us from God's care, from the care others bring to us or from the care we bring to others. I borrow these words from an essay about loving remotely for someone in a hospital. In these extraordinary times, we must, make, we must make the best of what is possible, not what is ideal. However, we do have the ideal living within us and shared among us, God and the Holy Spirit. One day that ideal, that care, that mirror of God will again happen in person. For now it must be through this powerful, unbroken spiritual link, a link done across.
across a distance and a link that effectively uses our technology. I'll close with these few more words from Udis Kessler's hymn that Dale played on the 28th and that was so beautifully sung by Beverly Laurie. May we offer in abundance all the grace that we have found as we tend to one another with our gifts and with our care. My closing thought, especially at this challenging time of pandemic, is that the care given by God that care we give one another, that care we accept from one another, will bless the world and will heal our souls. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. That was wonderful. For communion today, uh, we are going to have two communion stations. Uh, Reverend Maggie.